Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Toon Kings playthrough, where, well, we're about to have some fun, guys, because we are about to fight for the Black Pyramid. Now, I need to get you out, let's select the mission, and we are going to do this with uh, Rakash, and that really nice army we've got there. Now... This is going to be a big battle, so I don't know how my PC is going to handle this, guys. So, uh, we shall see. So this could be a little bit chuggy. I do apologise, guys. But I'm sure we're going to have some fun battering Arkham the Black and uh, King Nectembo there. Um, and uh, King Nefrecare. Uh, we're nicely in the middle here. And there are going to be reinforcements coming in as well for the enemy, but this is going to be an immense battle. The mortuary cult has fallen into the arch necromancer's shadow. But Nakash has gone from this world. And if we claim the Black Pyramid, we will ensure he can never return. <sighs> The law within shall show us the true path to the day of awakening. Now is the dawn of the mortuary cult. And so we have Setra on one side of us and um, Kalida on the other. Right. First thing first, let's just move forwards a bit. Now the question is, you know what, I'm going to go help one side mostly, because if we clear one side, we can then always fl float around to the other. Where's Arkans forces? Guess we'll find out shortly. Oh wow. Bow to me. Let's go this way to start with. Let's pop that, blow some units up. It's direct damage, uh, caused to damage to the strong versus multiple combatants. Tomb Swarm. Oh, I can feel the chug. I'm fairly sure you guys can see it, unfortunately. There's not much I can do about that, guys. You guys can all start charging up, getting yourselves involved. I'm not even going to be subtle. We're just going to charge into this mass here. Use these guys to help break them. already in. Yes, so let's pop some buffs and some debuffs. There you go, we're already battering them there. These two guys can move up onto the sides to try and get around the back there. You three can all start shooting out out of these guys. Now you can focus their king down. And my, uh... My neck was sneezing on them. Oh, we've got a nice wind spell here, though. I'm a bit too... That doesn't mean we can't use it. That'll do. Oh my god, my frame rate is suffering. Battering on there, we're missing them mostly annoyingly. Where are you going? You were meant to be on their king. I can't tell where he is in this mass. You can just charge in. 
You guys can focus fire down their range now. You guys can break out and start hunting down this range as well, because you're taking a bit too much damage in there. Let's throw out a restore on you guys. Let's throw out a buff. Oh, there he is, there he is. Let's get my necklace things on him. That's good, these guys are battering them. Let's break onto this side. You guys can all fold. Oh no, charge into them while they're pinned. Let's chuck a debuff down there. This is a bit painful, guys, I know, but it will hopefully improve as we get going. Okay, you guys can move up here to start throwing support over there because we're pretty much cleared on this side now. To the point I'm actually just going to start my army marching directly over because we're, we're, we're clear here. They can, they can sort the rest. You guys can hammer those knights down quickly. Let's fire that wind spell. They're going to move fast enough to get out. No. Oh. Oh, that is a nice spell. There you go. Things are getting a little bit smoother now. We're not chugging quite so much. I really do need a better graphics card at some point, guys. You guys can fold into them. You guys can batter that king. In fact, you guys can turn into him as well. I want some anti-large there. Let's throw some spells out. We can buff our people too, mate. Throw another restore out. You guys are doing nicely. Oh, you guys can keep moving forward, shooting. Let's just keep this pressure on. This isn't even subtle now, guys. This is just battering through. Now, we've not even fought Arcan the Black yet. Though I'm doing well, I've not taken much damage here. You guys can chase down them. No, you guys can, um, ooh, I don't know where I want you. You guys can hit them. These guys are shock cav, I think. Or well, just monstrous cav. Um, there, their, their straight weapon strength and damage is good. So I don't think I need to use them as shock cav. But doesn't mean it's not worth using them as shock cav occasionally. That should do some nice damage there. Come on, before they move. Ooh. Okay, we shredded them. My graphics card's not liking that, that, that ability, though. Okay, here he comes. Oh, wow, he's coming from everywhere, guys. I can't see anything coming on. Oh wow! Charge! A lot of skeletons coming in there. We should do be able to do quite a bit of damage to them. And bats! Crypt horrors! Oh! Right, we're going to try and batter this horde first, then we'll turn and deal with the others. I'm getting everything charging. As I said, guys. We're not being subtle, we're not doing doing really delicate tactics here. We are just battering into them. Especially with these guys. These guys will eat these things. Because these guys are massively anti-infantry. In fact, the infantry against my army is really going to struggle very, very quickly.
The thing I potentially lack is a little bit of anti-large, but even there I'm reasonable. There you go, you can see we're already having great fun here with my guys. Um, oh wow, that's two Necrosphinxes. That's going to be painful when it hits me. You guys can all focus fire that Necrosphinx. Okay, we're battering here. You guys can form a line out here. Uh, you guys can hit those crit ghouls. We're going to need to turn and face quickly. I, I'm actually having problems here. I'm getting caught up too much. Right, you guys can break out this side. You guys can break out down here. And my monstrous division can just come and back up. Meanwhile, let's throw this down here. These are all dying already. These guys are are slowly falling to bits. I'm not too worried about them. We're going to need to deal with these guys first. Right, we're going to need to squish them shortly. Um, you know what, my lord can keep dealing with these guys. You guys can move forwards, as can my large units in here. My lord is doing a fine job here, all on his lonesome. He is very powerful now on that on that mount. Right, straight into the back. You guys can pull down over here. My large wing can also pull down over here and start hammering, get ready to hammer in. I know my large wing's gonna go straight down the center into there. But you guys still haven't managed to break out. That's not actually good. You guys really need to break out. Right, my Necros thinks is going to go on to him. And one of my Hero Titans is as well. So these two are going to go for that Hero Titan. My Necros thinks should batter him. Right, we can just ignore here now. Let's get involved here. You guys can push a bit further forwards. You guys can slam into those Crypt Horrors. You guys can keep shooting up at this Necros Thinks, please. Fold in on there, smash what we've got there. Oh, why are you guys stopped? Right, hammer them. Do not let them keep hitting us. You guys can break straight out. You're getting far too over involved there. Right, let's batter that hero titan down next. Who can we actually heal? Who's worth healing? Right, let's break these two out. They're not actually doing much there. They can go find some infantry down here. We've got this, guys, now. I'm going to lose some of my cav, but I'm not the best person with cav. And they've still got powerful units, but they're letting me pull them off a bit at a time, which really isn't good for them. Oh, there's Arkan himself. Charge! Straight into those Crypt Horrors, guys. You guys can uh, go and join in against Arkan, though Arkan's going down quite quickly as well now. 
This is just going to become a bit of a maul between large units. And in fact, you guys want to take down that Necron Stinks first. Because he's anti-large. You guys can stay on him. You can keep battering Arcan. You guys can actually just get up and involve now. I know you can hit hit into the back of those tomb guard for a bit. And my lord can go and have a play in them too. So you guys go and take him out with all your halberds. That guy's about to go. I don't need to worry about him. He's falling over as it is. That Necros thinks is just... You can see how powerful they are, guys. There he goes. Okay. Come on, Lord. You're meant to be bouncing into the back of these Tomb Guard. Have some fun and then buff up there, guys. Come on, let's keep that pressure on. Let's whack a spell into that Necros Thinks. Because that Necros Thinks is the nastiest thing here. Because it's... <laughs> well, it was the nastiest thing here. Arcan is down as well. This is it, guys. It's literally this hero titan left and he's about to fall. And victory, guys. That was... It choked a bit at the start, and I do apologise that. That was quite a battle. I mean, I could have fought more tactically, but with the forces I had, I really didn't need to fight more tactically. Because actually, I didn't take huge losses. And my Cav, wow. I mean, you can tell they were in the brunt of it there, guys. While I lost them, they they did their job. I mean, that that's immense. He got... My Necros thinks got less kills, but... At the end of the day, he got a lot of kills, and my lord did. And 48, but he was mostly focusing on large units. He will have been doing mass damage to large units there. So, I am very happy with that. The Lich King is defeated. His legions scattered like desert sands. Now. Nothing can stand in your way. All will bow to the majesty of Nehekara. The greatest of civilizations rises again. The living will quail, for the age of flesh is over. The tomb kings shall reign over all. The Black Pyramid is yours. Nice. So we gain the restless legions from the last book we got here. Um, that's very nice. So yeah. Now the books of Nagash are in your grasp. Yeah, so that's a constant buff now. 10% movement, 20 growth, vigor loss reduction large, extra unit experience, and everybody gets re passive regeneration. Nice. Oh, that's interesting. There are still some books left I can pick up. Which is nice, so... But I should have completed my campaign. Oh, I've actually got to hold the Black Pyramid next. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that could be difficult. So I thought I'd actually completed the, the campaign bonuses there, but I need to hold the Black Pyramid, so... Uh, but that's going to happen sooner rather than later. Right, we need to do a bit of recruitment at some point soon. 
Because we have taken a few losses here, but worth it. these guys off. Oh, assuming they don't get away from me. Ah, nice easy auto to finish them. Anything worth grabbing. Um, I don't need this anymore, simply because I get... Um this in any territories I take anyway, so anybody attacking me takes attrition, or passing through my new territory takes attrition, which is really nice. Um, where do I want to go next? This is the real question. Um, do I want to push down this way or this way? Um, I've got a lot of armies here. These guys can push together after I've taken there. So we're actually going to start pushing over here. Oh, I was n not expecting them to be here. Have they confederated? Oh wow, there's only one Skaven clan at the moment. I do not care about dead things. Talk, speak if you can. They don't actually mind me. I'm going to leave them alone for now, then. You're going to need to uh, retreat then to come back to get some support. But we'll do that shortly. We're all good. Rakash can gain you. What sort of a... You are Nakara, so you can join Rakash. Another war sphinx out for us. very much a case in some of these places of what's actually worth me picking up because uh, there it wasn't necessarily worth me doing anything oh I forgot about that okay anyway we're doing nicely here our, we're really pressuring on that's given us a huge buff to our armies actually because everything we recruit is going to be that much more veteran now we've got the extra movement uh, we've got a humongous amount of extra growth damn I'm going to have to fight this. This is going to be a horrible, horrible battle. I'm probably not going to win this simply because I don't have the anti any anti-large here. Um, I pushed too far forwards on my own there. Um, it's the second army coming in. But it's these guys, they're just gonna, breaking them is going to be hard. And these monstrous units are going to send me flying about the place. Um, damn. I'm not really going to do much here. get everything else forwards other than my archers and take this guy out as quickly as I can. 
unfortunately, I, I am also going to have to be forced to tap charge uphill towards these guys. really want to do is try and trap them behind me if I can. Try and get some of my units around the back, but that's going to be very hard. Straight up into them if you can, guys. Uh, Mazamundi on his, on, oh, what's it called? I forget what his mount is called there, but that's going to be nasty too. Yes, I didn't think I was quite that close. Said we've not broken yet. We're not doing great, but we've not broken yet. Well, you guys can shoot to the back of them. You can hammer into the back of them. We're going to completely surround this unit of temple guards here, which will hopefully do get them falling over. And here comes uh, Mazamundi himself straight in. Oops. buff here. Wow, we end up hitting some of my own units there, but never mind. We've not even scratched that Carnosaur. This is the Temple Guard, guys. These are all fairly good medium infantry. Yeah, medium level infantry. And these Temple Guard are just not breaking and fighting back. Um, that's the issue with Temple Guard. It's why I love the Lizardmen. They are just so powerful and they don't break. Uh, which is one of the great things about these guys is a lot of people, right, you know, when I was fighting the um, Dark Elves, they broke, and they broke again, and then they broke again, and then they broke again, whereas the Lizard Men don't break, whatever you do. Which makes fighting them as a faction like the Tomb Kings quite tricky, actually. Plus, the unit of Temple Guards is, Temple Guards are proper top tier but, you know I say that they're not doing a huge amount of damage to us we are gonna win here it's mostly the things hitting us from behind which are damaging but it's gonna take a lot of winning and unfortunately everywhere else is gone Ah, uh, we're gone now. Ugh, that was a horrible fight, guys. Um, as I'm sure you can guess, I didn't like that fight. <laughs> Hopefully we've done enough that I can uh, move my other army down with my larger unit and batter them. Um, we need to just keep the pressure on Monday at the moment. I mean, it might be worth us throwing a peace treaty if we have to, just to give us a few turns to rebuild. Um, and we can always go back to war with him later on and push him once we've recouped. But, you know, I'm not sure I want to give him time to recoup. Then again, he'd potentially he's potentially going to get swallowed up by the Skaven anyway, so. Oh, that is infuriating. Ugh. 
That said, I definitely have enough power to keep the pressure on here, so. Hmm. Right, I need to keep chasing them. First things first, let's get another army built before I forget. That's the only army I can get at the moment. Yeah. Oh no, I can have ten armies now. Wow. Let's get another one going here where I've actually got the units. Is there a space? Where's my next best place? Down this way. Probably here. And we are going to end this one here, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed that battle, even though it was a bit chuggy at points. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching.